Hi, in this short video I'll show you how to split a workbook, no matter how many entries it has, into several smaller workbooks according to certain headings or categories in a matter of seconds. Let's jump in and show you how this works. Here at Successors Data, in my case I have nearly 12,000 records here, and I'll export them to a CSV file. Now we'll open up the tool, and if it asks you to enable macros, you'll need to do so so that the tool can run. If we click on More Details here, we see it's asking us to enable macros and data connections, so we'll go ahead and do both. And select Browse. And I'll bring that CSV file in that I just created. And I'll import it. And it loads in a matter of seconds. Now let's say that I'd like to separate my data. In this case, I'd like to separate it by the county the property is in. I can separate it by any category, by zip code, by assessed value, anything, but in this case let's separate it by county. To do this, I'll just come back to the start page here where the tool is, and this drop-down menu contains all of the fields that are in my data. I'll select Property County here. And then I can come to Filter, where I see a list of all the different property county values found in my file. By marking a county with an X as individual, I'm telling the tool that I'd like all those property records that contain this value for county to be produced as one individual file. And if I mark a county with an X as a group, the tool will produce just one file with all of these counties grouped together. So in this case, let's say I'd like a few specific counties to be separated as individual files for my records. Then I'll go ahead and produce one large file that contains all of these counties. and these files that I'm leaving unchecked are those that will be left behind. So as you can imagine, with so many records, if I was trying to do this manually, it would take me hours and hours and hours, but with this tool I can easily do it in under a minute. Then I'll come back to the Start page, and if I like, I can limit the number of records per file that's produced. In my case, I don't want them broken up into smaller files from here, so I'll select 5000. I'll click Process, and it gets to work. Obviously, the more records you have, the longer this will take, but it runs through the master list very quickly. And it's done. In the folder where we have the tools stored on our computer, we can see that it's produced a subfolder called Files. We'll open that up, and we see that it's produced all the individual files that I requested, and the file with several counties grouped together as I requested and whatever your original workbook was named, that will be used as the name prefix, followed by the keyword, in this case the county we filtered by, and then the number of records this file contains. So with a single glance at the file name alone, you can quickly get a lot of information about that file. We'll open up one of our files here, and we see that it contains the same amount of records we see in the file name. It contains the reference ID number heading, and we see it is all from one county. And that's it! With this tool you can quickly save yourself a giant headache from doing this work manually. Thanks for watching! If you'd like more tools, or would like us to custom tailor a tool to work with another website, just get in touch with us at easyexcelautomation.com, and we'd be happy to develop something for you.